you take sand and fire and put it together and you have glass and you make it turns into a liquid imagine the sand turns into a liquid and then you stick a pipe in there and gather it up like honey and bring it out and blow down there and you blow a shape that over the centuries glass blowers have learned to make it into an incredible array of forms and I've been lucky enough to come along at the right time at the right place to be able to expand many of the forms that were made throughout this 2,000 year history. I remember it very specifically. It was almost like it was yesterday as far as working with Dale and working at the furnace and, and dealing with the heat. And I can remember you know, him always saying, be at one with the peace, Benny, be at one with the peace. You know, and, and that is get it very, very hot. You know, and then he'd say, hold it down, just get it hot and hold it. You know, um, once in a while he'd grab a blowpipe, but in most cases, all of us who worked for him were his hands, and, and um, but he was right there working with us, telling us, you know, how to, how to realize what it was that he wanted to do, and it was very, very hands-on in a very, very exciting time. I think it was about 1977 that I was visiting the Washington State Historical Society with Italo Skanga and Jamie Carpenter, and we were looking at their Indian basket collection, and then it dawns on me that, hey, wouldn't it be interesting to try to make these baskets out of glass? A lot of the baskets are old and kind of crumply and they're not always straight and firm. And so I got into my mind that somehow I wanted to make them asymmetrical. First I would bang them with a paddle to beat them up a little bit, but I soon learned that if I just used the heat of the furnace and the fire that I could get the same kind of movement from the fire itself and it was more beautiful. That was really the breakthrough series for me to begin to form glass with fire, with gravity, with heat, with centrifugal force. I was using just human breath going down into this miraculous material, blowing it up and then blowing it more and more, pushing its limits, making it as thin as I could and getting it so hot that it would almost collapse and begin to move. And so I'm, I was pushing the edge of thinness and collapsibility and making new forms. I had a show coming up at the Seattle Art Museum with Jamie Carpenter and Italo Skanga. So I made about a hundred pieces and I uh, made a table that was 24 feet long uh, and I rusted the steel on it. Uh, and I showed, the, I showed almost everything I had made, the, the hundred baskets. Uh, on this on this steel table and I just knew I was convinced that this was an important series to me so I didn't take the time that I usually would tell students to do to kind of cool off a little bit and work a series to see if it's if it's really good uh, I went ahead and I knew it was good I went on from there I worked I worked at baskets you know initially for two or three years, uh, using subtle colors, uh, white, gray, pink, to back. Uh, I don't know why I used subtle colors. Uh, maybe again it was because of the basket. The real baskets were subtle.
You know, you can't show very many of these in the same room anyway. They're just so big. Yeah, they're so big, you'd only want a couple, I think. That is great. Do you like it that open? I mean, I figured I would well, really try well, it. Well, that would work especially well if you were to What's put another. Here? Yeah, like, let's say that's the same color down there, right? This one, yeah. Why don't we try putting that for the fun of it? This is a nice, nice shape for a single. No, that's a beauty. But it'll also be a beauty in here. Yeah. How wide is that? Uh, that's about 43 inches. I bet it's 37. 44 and a half, you're a lot closer than I was. 44 and a half. That's about as big as they can get. Yeah, these are yeah, great. That look great in there for sure. The, um, I mean, the better the pieces are, the better the pair is. The, uh, uh, have, maybe have this coming down over that. We'd have to play with it. Uh, have it hanging out a little bit. Maybe it has to be, try the other way now. That, yeah, having this come up for the fun of it. I mean, it, this one is, yeah. yeah, look at that thing. God, that looks good. That looks great from back here, boy, doesn't it? If that was in a, you know, in a gallery, in a museum, it could almost have to take a whole room. <laughs> I, re I think that's one of the best pieces we've ever done. That's really a beauty. That is a fabulous color. Also mixing the colors, you think that's, or just keep it all orange on orange, or? Well, I just hate to, you're so hot now, I don't want to have lighter. you yeah. working colors that, oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice color too. You know, I said the tall ones might not be as good, but that, that looks, that looks good. Well, I mean, this is the tallest one, that's kind of a medium one, this yellow one over here. You know, the, the reason they look good, I think, is all those wrinkles. Yeah. That looks good, too. Well, you could try laying it down in there. Might be a little different. Or it might be, upright might work, too. Yeah, that thing's huge, too. I mean, they're great as pairs. I know. I mean, uh, I mean look at those two together. The, man, it's funny. You don't really have to be thinking, well, this one's going to go in that one. You just have to make, they just have to be good pieces. That's right, yeah. And they work. Maybe we don't want a lot of different colors. Maybe we're better off to keep the yeah, range small. That way we can move them around. Yeah. And not we won't waste any, any big yeah. one on a bad color. Yeah. The yeah. bright yeah. orange, from what I remember, if it, if it got thick enough, it turned a really rich color. You know, you'd get two colors out of it. Right, right. That looks like more color. I mean, it, I think we can get away with even using those colors together. Yeah, it's subtle enough. Whoa. 
Lovely. Maybe hold it up a little. What's that, red? Orange. Orange. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Whoa. Man, these things are big. All right.